Vietnam's participation in global health matters has been remarkable. In September 2014, Vietnam successfully hosted the 12th ASEAN Health Ministers Meeting. With a the theme of better health for ASEAN post-2015, the meeting focused attention on the role of universal health coverage in the development of the ASEAN community. A high-level side event on UHC took place during the meeting. It was co-chaired by the Minister of Health, Associate Professor Nguyen Thi Kim Tien, and the WHO Regional Director for the Western Pacific, Dr. Shin Yong Su. Emerging infectious diseases such as Ebola and pandemic influenza were also among the topics discussed at the meeting. In follow-up to the 12th ASEAN Health Ministers meeting in Hanoi, the ASEAN Plus Three Health Ministers met in Bangkok in December 2014 to develop and agree upon a joint statement on Ebola preparedness and response. In July of this year, the health ministers discussed the issue of MERS-CoV. The 13 countries endorsed five concrete commitments for enhancing preparedness and response to MERS. The post-2015 vision for ASEAN health cooperation is one where development is inclusive and sustainable, where health is reflected in all policies, and where access to quality health care is universal and guarantees financial risk protection. Building on this vision, the MOH has embarked on a process of defining its post-2015 health agenda, recognising that health is at the core of sustainable development. Ensuring health equity and universal health coverage and the development of a strong, resilient and transformative health system are at the core of this agenda. In addition to Vietnam's contribution to the work of the ASEAN Health Ministers Forum, its active and meaningful participation in the 2014 and 2015 World Health Assemblies, as well as the 63rd Regional Committee meeting, has been widely recognised. The MOH continues to be an active member of IHP+. Its commitment to the principles of development cooperation effectiveness was strengthened through Vietnam's first time participation in the 2014 monitoring exercise. The results of this exercise are being used by the Health Partnership Group, or the HPG, to reflect on how it could improve accountability in development cooperation. And as the country's mechanism for high-level policy dialogue and development cooperation in the health sector, the HPG is helping Vietnam on its path towards UHC. This year it's tackled key policy agenda issues, such as the revised pharmaceutical law and national strategy for the pharmaceutical sector. It has also initiated a dialogue among partners on development financing for the next five-year health sector plan. Vietnam's health sector is in transition. The past decade has been characterised by epidemiological and demographic shifts towards an increased prevalence of non-communicable diseases and an ageing population. NCDs are now estimated to account for 73% of total deaths in Vietnam, and the ageing of the country's population is among the fastest in the region. It is estimated to take about 20 years for Vietnam to move from an ageing to an aged population, a much shorter period than has been faced by many OECD countries. This compounds the challenge of NCDs and the provision of services for chronic conditions. Rapid urbanisation continues to contribute to changes in lifestyles and behaviours and is creating new pockets of poverty and new health risks and hazards. Emerging and re-emerging infections continue to pose a threat to the health security of the country and the region. The devastating outbreaks of the Ebola virus in West Africa and the recent outbreak of MERS-CoV in the Republic of Korea highlight the vulnerability of countries across the globe. Vietnam, therefore, needs to continue to strengthen its capacity to respond to public health emergencies. At the same time, Vietnam continues to tackle old challenges such as malnutrition and stunting, as well as maternal and infant mortality, which disproportionately affect the vulnerable segments of the population. Health inequalities persist among the poor, vulnerable and disadvantaged populations, 
highlighting the need for proactive efforts to further strengthen and redesign the health system to focus on people-centred, integrated primary health care. The Ministry of Health has worked hard to accelerate efforts towards the attainment of all five health-related MDGs. It has been recognised globally as one of the 10 fast-track countries in the achievement of the MDGs, particularly for its progress in reducing maternal and infant deaths. It has also achieved its malaria, TB and HIV targets with remarkable reductions in the prevalence of all three diseases. The resolution on MDG acceleration reaffirmed the commitment of the government to the protection and development of its people as part of the country's broader socio-economic development goals. The government's effort to achieve MDG 8 in the area of access to essential medicines and vaccines has been bolstered by the development of the local generic industry and the recent certification of the National Regulatory Authority by WHO. Alongside these achievements, Vietnam has continued to tackle communicable diseases. Last year, it launched a large-scale measles rubella campaign targeting 23 million children. By December 2014, more than 10 million children had been vaccinated. In parallel, the number of new TB cases and deaths and the number of new HIV cases have continued to decline. Vietnam is, however, still one of 22 high-burden countries for TB, and HIV remains the leading cause of disability-adjusted life years. Vietnam has progressively improved its capacity for preparedness, surveillance of and response to public health emergencies. In June 2014, it met the core capacities required under the International Health Regulations. In February of this year, the Emergency Operations Centre was established with the support of partners. It serves as the command centre of the MOH for coordinating emergency response to public health threats. The Minister shared Vietnam's experience in strengthening the country's capacity for health security at the Global Health Security Meeting in Washington in September 2014. Part of Vietnam's experience in this area is strengthening coordination at the human and animal interface through the One Health approach. In August this year, Vietnam co-hosted a conference on zoonotic disease control in response to the Global Health Security Agenda's Zoonotic Disease Action Package. With the revision of its health insurance law, Vietnam has also made significant strides in moving towards universal health coverage. The revised law aims to increase coverage of the poor, ethnic minorities and other vulnerable populations. It reaffirms the role of universal health insurance coverage as a means to achieve equitable and universal access to healthcare services. Health insurance is now close to 70%. In parallel, the country has continued the process of reforming its grassroots health system, giving special emphasis to ethnic minority populations and those living in hard to reach areas.